In this video, I will compare the Intel Core i9-13900K and Intel Core i7-14700K highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. Both of these processors are from Intel, but they come from different generations and have different architectures. So, let's examine their differences. The Core i7-14700K was released approximately one year after the release of the Core i9-13900K. The Intel Core i9-13900K features 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores, whereas the Core i7-14700K has 8 performance cores and 12 efficiency cores. Having more cores and threads can lead to improved multitasking performance, faster processing of multi-threaded workloads, and better utilization of hardware resources. Additionally, the Core i9 has more threads than the Core i7-14700K. When comparing the base clock frequency of both processors, this Core i7 has a slightly higher frequency. However, due to the higher number of cores in this Core i9, it is suggested that the Core i9 performs slightly better. The L1 and L2 cache size of both processors is 80 KB per core and 2 MB per core, respectively. However, the L3 cache size of the Core i9-13900K is greater than that of the Core i7-14700K. A larger cache size aids in faster data access and reduced latency. Both processors support a maximum memory of 192GB. Additionally, they support DDR5 and DDR4 memory, with DDR5 supporting speeds of 5600 MHz and DDR4 supporting speeds of 3200 MHz. They both feature integrated graphics with Intel UHD Graphics 770. Comparing Graphics Boost Frequency, this Core i9 has a boost frequency of 1650 MHz, while the Core i7-14700K has a boost frequency of 1600 MHz. Both of these processors support ECC, making them suitable for critical systems such as workstations and servers. They both support PCI version 5 and have 20 PCI lanes, allowing them to accommodate up to 20 different PCIe devices simultaneously. A fixed TDP of 125 watts is relatively high for a standard laptop. Both of these processor has 125 watt TDP. A higher TDP generally indicates that the processor consumes more power and dissipates more heat during operation. In benchmark comparisons, such as Cinebench R23 single and multicore, Geekbench R23 single and multicore, and Passmark single and multicore, the Core i9-13900K outperforms the Core i7-14700K. If you want my suggestions then choose i9-13900K if you prioritize absolute top-tier performance in multi-threaded tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, or scientific computing. Choose i7-14700K if you're on a budget and want to save some money on the CPU. If you need a powerful CPU for gaming, multitasking, and most everyday tasks, but don't require the absolute top performance in multi-threaded applications you can go for i7-14700K. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update. Thank you.